Israel-Iran War News Now Israeli attack near Aleppo kills 12 jihadists. NGO An NGO alleged early Monday that an overnight Israeli strike on a plant near Aleppo in northern Syria killed at least 12 militants. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights reported that an Israeli airstrike on a position in Hayen, north of Aleppo, set up massive explosions in a factory and killed 12 pro-Iranian fighters of Syrian and foreign nationalities. After midnight, the Israeli enemy launched an air attack from the southeast of Aleppo, hitting various sites near the city, the Syrian Ministry of Defense said, the aggression killed multiple victims and material damage. The British Observatory, which has a large network of sources in Syria, sent rescuers and firefighters to treat the injured and put out fires created by the hit. NGO Sehayen is dominated by pro-Iranian parties, comprising of Syrians and foreigners. Since Syria's civil conflict began, Israel has launched hundreds of strikes on its northern neighbor, mostly targeting army installations and Iran-backed fighters, notably Hezbollah. Israel seldom discusses individual operations in Syria, but it has consistently said it will not allow Iran to advance there. Since Hamas launched an unprecedented offensive on Israel on October 7, the strikes have risen, Israel faces a historic decision with far-reaching consequences beyond Gaza. Israeli decisions in the near future will alter the American defense alliance in the Middle East, weaken Iran, and affect the global economy Iran funds proxies in the region, making it a major enemy of Israel and the U.S. Israel wants to weaken Iran regionally and worldwide. A normalization agreement with Saudi Arabia will progress this aim, boost the region's economy, and affect the global economy. Tehran knows why Israel, Saudi Arabia, and the U.S. value normalization deals. Some say these accords encourage Tehran to become more aggressive because signing the normalization deal will make it harder to implement its malign goals. Iran knows its regional legitimacy will wane, the Western Defense Alliance will strengthen, and it will construct a strategic framework based on a regional coalition with the U.S., as it did during its last war on Israel. Saudi Arabia is prominent in the Arab world for its political, economic, and religious influence particularly its Islamic sites. Israeli legitimacy will affect the Arab world and Western Defense Alliance in the Middle East. Recent reconciliation with Israel attempts to counter Iran's influence and China's rise. Israel must take advantage of this opportunity and bargain well to benefit from this accord, even though Saudi Arabia's demand for a Palestinian state is problematic. Economic benefits of normalization with Saudi Arabia abound. On June 7, 2023, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken meets with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in Jeddah. Bandar al Ghalaud slash Saudi Royal Court slash Reuters. In 2022, Saudi Arabia had the largest economy in the Middle East, according to the World Bank, with a GDP of $800 billion. This economy relies on oil reserves more than technology. Thus, Israel has a unique opportunity to expose Saudi Arabia to Israeli technology businesses, opening up a new market for manufacturers and exports. Saudi interest in technology and renewable energy will boost Israel's economy and save Saudi Arabia from its lag. Prince Mohammed bin Salman, MBS, announced Saudi Vision 2030 in 2016 to decrease Saudi dependence on oil and create alternative economic sources. The Saudi kingdom knows oil prices fluctuate and are depletable. Normalization will expand water, energy, and high-tech markets and cooperation between both countries. Since the pact will defend secure the country's positions in the region, it will minimize security costs.